Mitch Guns 496 here, another review, this time of the Dark Knight Rises movie masters, Ra's al Ghul. So there you go. So as you can see, you've got Ra's al Ghul here, you've got the package. The package is pretty standard for um, uh, movie masters, Dark Knight. Uh, one thing that I will say is, if you are planning to keep this guy in package, and if you have ordered him from Ra's al Ghul, I know he's sold out right now, but um, if you order him from the Big Bad Toy Store, and you order Ra's al Ghul, I know he's sold out, but um, if he ever comes back in stock or anything, you might want to pay the extra, like, buck or two to... Uh, get it packaged really well because I didn't really mind it because I was going to take mine out of package but this is how the top arrived just totally smashed in I know it's hard, kind of hard to see so yeah so if you want to keep this guy mint and you're going to order from the big bad toy store you might want to pay a little extra money to get it packaged really well on uh, the back here you've got the uh, Build-A-Figure of course and then you've got Catwoman, Blake and Ra's al Ghul at the time of filming this I do not have uh, Blake or Catwoman but um, I have all the rest and I do plan on getting Blake and Catwoman just, I'm just waiting to find them I've got a uh, Catwoman pre-ordered on big bad toy store I was able to pre-order her before she sold out so um if I don't find her in the stores by the time that it comes in stock at Big Bad Toy Store, they'll just send it. So either way, I've got Catwoman. Blake, I just need to find, but I am willing to pay extra for on eBay if it comes to that, down to that. So I will get them. As far as his build a figure piece, he comes with the back of the uh, bat, bat like light. So really all you do is twist it and then it pops right off. And here it is. This is actually the light source. Um, I think that you need to put batteries in it because it's not working. This is how you turn it on and then you're supposed to uh, click this button down here, but it's not working, so I think that this just needs batteries. I think it takes like three, um, three batteries. I'm not sure though. But yeah, so overall really cool. It, um, it goes in there pretty easily. You just do this and then twist and then it's done. So, so I'm just missing the front cap. I do have the broken lens, but I want the regular lens. So, um, I just need the front cap and Catwoman's extra base for it. So yeah. So now as far as on to the figure. So this figure is actually pretty cool. As far as accessories, I was really hoping for a samurai knife or something. Absolutely nothing in that sense. I was just really disappointed. He does come with this accessory, which is actually very cool. It is the gas mask that he wears in uh, Batman Begins. Really neat that they added that. I really like it. But I would have really uh, liked a samurai sword to go with it. Um, with these figures being mostly reused parts, there's nothing too much new with these guys. So it makes them a little less interesting. So I would have really hoped for a samurai sword. Uh, I've, I've been trying to find a good one that I have from another figure to let him use, but I really haven't found anything. Um, the only thing I can think of is the Deadpool from Marvel Legends that's coming out soon. He might have a good sword for him to use, but uh, other than that, I'm pretty stuck right now. I don't have any good thing for him to use, so it was very disappointing in that. But as far as the figure, as you can see, his head sculpt is actually pretty nice. I mean, you can tell that it's Liam Neeson. Uh, you know, they did a good job. It's not fantastic, but it's good. His mouth is open, which I found very strange, um, and uh, something I didn't even think of, but uh, uh, Toys 210 did tell me that uh, maybe that was because uh, so that the math, uh, the, the, the gas mass would uh, stay on better, and um, so, so that's a theory. I'm not quite sure, though. It doesn't seem like it is, but it might possibly, but um, still really cool. I uh, it's, it's interesting with the mouth open, but still nice. He's got a good uh, range of movement on the head. I don't know what it is, but this joint is actually really nice, up and down really far, and side to side a lot. As far as the rest, it's just the normal male body sculpt. It's a completely back black suit. The only thing with any color is this belt buckle. And then with the hands, they are kind of gloved. I actually really like the glove effect that they used over here. It's actually really nice, very good. And as far as articulation, it's the same articulation as Alfred, the Joker, or Two-Face, you know, Scarecrow, anybody that has this sculpt. Gordon. Uh, but it's a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, swivel bicep, hinge elbows, swivel wrist, uh, ab crunch with a swivel waist, swivel hinge hips, swivel lower thighs, hinge knees, and hinge ankles. So overall, it's good articulation, but it's just nothing new. So overall, um, I will show you him with the gas mask, and well, I'll do it right now. Here he is with the gas mask. As you can see, it's actually pretty nice. It sits just over his ears and it goes all the way behind. Fairly simple to put on. Um, as you can see, it's, it's actually positioned really nice. You do get a little bit of the beard under it. 
so that's nice. So overall, it's actually really cool. Um, the only thing is, it looks a little like those, you know, kind of Western bandanas more than a gas mask. If you didn't know what these, what this is, you'd think that it was a bandana because um, it's it's just really the the design and it. it's got a couple lines in it, but it's really not prominent that it's a gas mask. So overall, I do think it looks a little strange. Um, you know, just to anybody that doesn't even know that this is a gas mask, and even for people that do know that it's a gas mask, as soon as I put it on, that's I went straight to bandana even though of course I knew this was a gas mask so overall I wouldn't recommend displaying them like this I think it looks really bad um, but it is actually a really cool accessory so I do like that uh, but I wouldn't display them like this but that's just me if you are totally into this it's actually a really nice accessory really cool and um, I'm happy they gave it to him even if I'm not gonna have them wear it, it's still actually really nice so overall, if you're going to uh, build the build a figure, um, the bat signal, then this is actually one that you're going to have to get. If you're not into that, if you're just collecting the figures, you know, just based on the figures, this is actually a nice one to get because he's Ra's al Ghul. Um, really, the first ever really nice and first ever movie masters Ra's al Ghul that we're getting. So it is nice to kind of complete your villain team because they've given us Scarecrow, Bane, Joker, you know, Two Face. They've given us them all, and uh, so Ra's al Ghul would be is actually really nice to put in uh, your collection. And um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Although it's a normal body sculpt, it's just it's 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 the same. There's nothing new. So um, you know, even though I was excited to get it, I was just like, you know, I knew exactly what this figure was going to be all about. So there's nothing surprising, nothing new. Um, but still, it's nice. I like the gas mask. Would have hoped for a samurai sword, but it is still cool. I wouldn't recommend paying the outrageous prices on eBay. Uh, just monitor Big Bad Toy Store, and if that ever comes in stock, then just pre-order it um, or just buy it because uh, it goes out fast. I ordered this guy months and months and months ago, even before I knew who he was. It just said secret figure. I ordered it. It sold out within a week, and uh, it's been on my pre-order ever since, and I was able to get it. So I'm really happy with that. Um, if you see it in stores, definitely pick it up, especially because he's so rare. But uh, not, you know, don't pay 30, 40 bucks for it. If you can find it for the 20, it's definitely worth it. 25, hey, that's nice. So overall, that's my review of the Dark Knight Rises. Ra's al Ghul, pretty nice figure. Nothing new, but pretty nice.